Hey guys, how's it going? God's Vessel or Caesar here today, bringing you another Borderlands 3 modding video. Uh, so today what we have is a video to show you how to get a modified skill tree uh, using Cheat Engine. About a week ago, I put out a video where it showed you how to uh, uh, modify the weapons using the Borderlands 3 save editor. Um, for anyone who missed that video, the link will be down in the description in the video. But I quickly pointed out, if you just Google search Borderlands 3 save editor. If you don't want to look at the link or whatever, it'll be right here. You can put your save file or profile data in here and pretty much go from there. But you'll get more detail in watching the video that I put out that talks about how to specifically modify the uh, the save files or the weapons themselves. Let's turn this down a little bit more. So today, we're going to be showing you how to get a modified skill tree. So most players by default desire to have all these skill trees maxed out. So five points here, three here, and so on and so on, and so on from there. Of course, playing the game by default, you cannot get all the skills in the skill tree maxed out. With the cheat engine, however, you can put up to 99 points into any category you want. So again, today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get that set up. So of course you will need to download cheat engine. Uh, you will need the cheat table as well. What I'll also do is include um, my own personal sheet table that I use because the one I downloaded didn't really work that well. I had a problem activating it inside the cheat engine. So I'll show you how to get that done as well. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and Google search just uh, cheat engine and then download it. There might be a newer version than the one I have right here. So if you download cheat engine and tells you there's an update available, then you can go ahead and download the update. Um, so once you have it installed, you'll go ahead and you'll pull up and I'll get to this in a second here. Uh, you'll pull up the cheat table or cheat engine itself and it looks similar to this right here you're going to click on this little search icon and you're going to get this list now by default when you open it up your tab might be on processes or it might be on windows either way just go ahead and you're looking for borderlands 3 under applications right here you're going to hit ok on it and it's going to do this right here so next you're going to do is load in the cheat table itself and my cheat table um is in this folder right here so you have to download the borderlands uh cheat table which is over here you can google search this as well but again i'll include my uh, custom one or personal one it's not really custom it's the personal one that i use uh when i'm modifying the skill tree so for me when you, when i downloaded it and put it in here it goes to this folder right here and i renamed it borderlands 3 work in progress cheat table so i'm just gonna go ahead and for the sake of the video, I'll just go ahead and throw it on the desktop so we can see where I'm going to get it from. So once you uh, click on this little search glass right here, you selected the Borderlands application. The next step is to hit this little folder. You're going to load the actual table in itself. So I'm going to pull mine from my desktop. So we're going to go ahead and click on desktop. And we're going to click right here. It's the same thing right there. Once you do that, it's going to expand. Give you this window right here. The only thing you're really looking for in here is the ability to modify the actual skill points you get when you apply a skill point itself in the skill tree. So what that means is that we're looking for um, the ability that says max skill rank, I believe it is. Let me, let me click it and see. Yep. So it's called max skill rank. And when you click on it, it's going to automatically say putting, as you can see, putting any skill in with set 99 points in that particular skill tree. So what that means is that if you leave this box checked by default, if you come back over here, and I don't think I have it active uh, right here. So it's not active and I'll show you. If you come here and try to click, I don't think it will allow you to spend any skill points. As you can see, we have zero. I did it on purpose. Um, some of you already have skill points, but I set it to zero on purpose. Now let's see, see how we're clicking here and I can't spend them. So if you have a new character, and you have zero skill points this part will come in handy for you if you have a character that's already leveled up and you want more skill points then this part doesn't really apply to you so this part you put the new character so if you have a new character you'll go ahead and google search borderlands 3 um what is this thing called trainer you can do that from uh nexus mods to pop right up matter of fact i'll show you really quickly um any x ux and then uh that's not what i typed at all malfunctioning there we go so you go here, next is mine to the pop right up. And you just go ahead and search, uh, I think it'll pop up if you hit trainer. Will it show up at the top? Let's see if it does. 
No, TR. It's not it. It might just pop right up. Uh, well, Doris. Doris. Yeah, well, it didn't show up, but I'm pretty sure it's in here. It's where I got it from. It's in here somewhere. We're not going to waste time looking for the actual trainer itself, but I'm 100% positive the trainer is actually in here. And if you can't find it, then just message me and I'll send you the link to it directly. But this is where I got it from. Or you can just Google it. But either way, once you get the trainer installed, uh, it'd be like this right here. It'd have all these options. I only use this for one reason. That's to go ahead and let me click on the skill tree that says, hang on one second. All right. I click on the one that says uh, learn skills without skill points. So again, if you have a new character, you come in here, and you have zero skill points, or you only have five, then obviously you won't be able to click on anything. So if we toggle out and we check this right here. We come back. Now we can click on it. Now remember by default, uh, where is that? By default, we have it set to 99 skill points. So what I like to do is I like to come over here and I'll just pick any one tree and I'll just spin 99. And the reason for that is because when you spin 99, it's gonna automatically open the entire skill tree on each tab right here. So uh, let's see, uh, Zane gun damage, moving speed, the quicker, I'll just click it right here. Now for the sake of the video, I'm gonna click it right here. What I recommend you do is kind of experiment with this to see how many points you feel you need in each category to get the character as powerful you want it to be. So watch, I'm gonna click right here, 99, and now it opens everything up. Because the game looks at it as I spent enough skill points to have all this open, despite me not actually filling them in. So we'll go ahead and tab over, and I'm gonna just go ahead and hit 99 there. And you see how I spent 99 points, and it's opening the whole tree up. Now you probably wanna change this, and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, maximum shield capacity, easy 99. All right, so it's been 99 points. Let's say you want to fill this tree out or this uh, point right here out and you don't want 99 points in there. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the actual cheat engine and we're going to click on script. So what I'll do is that first I'm going to uncheck this because it's still active. Double click on script and just scroll down to line 17, I believe it is. So 17, yeah, line 17, all right? This is where the cheat engine will overwrite that whole one skill point per click thing. So right now, as you can see, it's set to 99 skills. So we'll just go ahead and delete that and we'll hit something like, um, I don't know, 30. All right, hit okay on it. I'll turn it back on. And for me, I always double check because one day I was doing this and I guess it didn't save and it put 99 in the wrong spot and I'd start over again. So we'll go ahead and go back down again. Line 17 reads 30 for overwrite. That's fine. It's a red X right there. We're all set. We go back into the game. And so now, instead of getting 99, I get 30. I can jump right here. I can put, I don't know, 30 there. I can put it there. And as you can see, these uh, little skill points right here, the ones that have the percentages, if you put, you know, 10, 20, or 30, or 50, actually will stack. It's not just there for cosmetic purposes. So the effects do go up. Like right here, as you can see, you know, it went up to 120% respond to something else damage resistance um supposed to have three in here so if you put now we got 66 percent damage resistance so i put 30 skill points in there i'm pretty sure if you put 99 it'd be even higher so if you tie back out again i'll show you how to do it again i like to uncheck it double click on script scroll down and remember we're looking for line 17 where it says overwrite and we're going to just change it to say 75 hit okay recheck the box come back to the game and what i'll do right here is hit it and i have 75 in there and then just reading over it uh we'll click right there as you see it's 100 or it's 810 percent chance now there's actually one insane skill tree the orange one that allows them to ignore well, here we go right here look at this actually watch this i'm gonna change it back to 99 to show you how dumb this is uh let's go here We'll say okay I just double it off of there this is me being a little yep 99 is still set so this skill tree right here the skill point in particular is retarded because as you can see you're only supposed to have three in there 
and it goes up by five so five to fifteen percent chance of ignoring bullets when you put 99 in there it goes up to 495 percent so your character when it comes to bullets is pretty much invincible um so that's something that you have to be aware of when you're stacking these points in here so just don't go in here and just you know oh look 99 99 fill out 99 because then some things are going to break i've done it for the siren and i was modding her when i first started doing this i went in i didn't really read it and i put 99 in all her skill points and i got in the game like she would shoot one bullet she would catch fire and she would die and she would like you know get up again and die it was like a big loop it was dumb and you don't want to be in that position then you got to come in here and respect and do it all over again now what you'll also see is that some of my uh some of my skills right here I have the two out of five i had to spend anything i think i have another one over here somewhere 30 out of five and then seven out of three that's because of the uh where is that the actually the, the class mod i have on now you can also modify the class mod not using cheat engine using uh, the save editor again that's covered in my previous video but you can modify it to give you even bigger buff so that's where the experimenting comes down to because you kind of have to know how much of a bonus you want from the class mod um, that way you don't have to worry about this being too crazy um, or if you do want it to be stronger temporarily and you change the class mod, then you still have the bonus here. So if I was to click, now I'm set to 99, so if I click this, it's going to push me to 106. So then now if I go back, let's just say, uh, take this off. When I go back here, where is it at? Uh, it's now it's 99 again. So if you don't have a class mod buffing it, then it's not for 99. Put a class mod on over it it'll go past 99 by default the highest you can go is 99 let's click this right here and see so in some cases putting 99 doesn't have any effect as you can see over here on the left it says you only get 50 percent max health so in that point right there it didn't do anything but in other points right here it didn't do anything let's see what else so right right here it says one point we'll click it it didn't do much what else so yeah if it's from 15 percent to almost 1500 percent oh my goodness wait gun damage oh, okay yeah gun damage is that that's 70 thousand percent let's click on and see what happened okay that stays the same that'd be kind of retarded if it went beyond 70 thousand percent uh but then again that's the whole point of the mind thing isn't it so that's pretty much how it works right there um some of these points are directly affected by you put 99 some of them are not any event that you you know misclick and you put 99 and the point you didn't want to have in there like i'll go ahead and do it on purpose right here and just max them all out 99. Um, let's see here 99. we'll just do it real quick what's this do uh yeah so like right here it shoots all the way up what does that say yeah that's almost four thousand percent right there too but this is obviously insta kill territory right here like right there yeah, look at that insta kill territory let's just go ahead and max it out what, what? all right so everything's maxed out we'll go ahead and go back to the backpack change the skill the class mod out and then now like in game um it's gonna be much 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 more stronger than what it needs to be and i'll go ahead and i'll run to uh, uh who am i running to why can't i travel right here i'll run to uh trunt real quick i don't want to run a grave ward i'm tired of seeing youtube videos people killing grave ward so we'll run to trunt real quick and uh i just show you like how powerful this can be to where you don't even need a gun at this point so it can get a little crazy Sometimes it is fun to run around, you know, without a gun and let your skill tree do all the work for you. So I'll take all the guns off as well. And I'll just show you this last little thing and then this will be the end of the video. There. And what you could probably do is have like one character kind of cracked out. Um, and then have one character. Uh, and so like real quick, I'll just show you like we set his skill tree up somewhere in here. He has like run speed or what? Oh, wait. This time, double check real quick. And get out of the way. All right, so somewhere in here, Zane has a skill point where he gets like an action skill activated. He'll run really fast. Oh, dang. Put this on real quick. 
I'll show you really quickly what we're looking at. There. This big office right here. Oh, this is it right here. Thank you. Picking the wrong one. I think it's this one. And Oops. Having a moment right now. Where's the drone? There we are. Come on. All right, here we go. So, what can I? All right. So we can go ahead and hit this run speed. Nah, I fell off. No, 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 no. Recall. Woo! <laughs> hey, that was close. I almost died right there. All right, let's move along. Let's try that again. As you can see, if you crank up the skill tree to 99, it'll have uh, undesired effects. Um, so you can't just do 99 on everything. And we'll just go ahead and run around to. It's actually faster than what I usually have it set to. Uh, oof. And then we'll run up here. And if you put the uh, the clone out without a gun, he'll do massive damage as well because he has a skill tree that lets him uh, throw grenades and do massive damage. And with everything being 99. You don't need a gun. Run up here real quick. Now, I think what I'll do is that I'll actually recall the clone and I'll use uh, the drone to fight Trunt. And you'll just see how that works. Hmm. He's stuck back there for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, we'll move forward down here. I'll use the drone. It just destroys them. So you can do that to any raid boss uh, with the drone or the uh, or the clone. Like if you spawn the clone out right here, and I'll just show you real quick. If you spawn the clone out, he gets the gun by default. The clone will always have a gun. And uh, what will happen is that he'll be throwing grenades constantly. So if you have like a modded grenade, then uh, he'll just throw it like every like five seconds. It'll just completely swamp the enemy. It's fun to do when you're fighting uh, that middle level boss in the uh the uh guardian takedown not the molly one black side but the second one the first boss you fight if you put your clone out you won't you won't die uh let's go in here real quick i'll show you my grenade real quick this is the one i have it's a modded uh cloning tracker grenade and we'll jump down and the clone just taken from here oops well, the clone didn't do the work. I guess the explosion did. But you get the idea, though. It would have been the same result if the clone had put hands on him. But, uh... <laughs> but yeah, you can do that to any boss, though. So, that's pretty much it. So, just to kind of wrap things up. Um, again, you need the cheat engine itself. You can go ahead and Google search that. It'll pop right up. 7.2. Um, you will need the cheat table. You can use the one on the internet. Or you can use the one that I will have in the description. It'll be like in Google Drive or... Uh, Dropbox, you can just download it, and then of course, when you download it, it'll show up um, just like this right here. And then, if you want to reset your skill points again, if you have a new character um, in the game, then um, you'll want to grab the trainer right here and just Google search Boil S3 trainer, or again, go to Nexus Mods and you know, search it, it'll pop right up and just set this right here to on. That way, you can spend the skill points in the game that I actually have in skill points. And if you have a uh, current character then when you respect you can spend the points you currently have and then you can go ahead and then use the 99 effect from the cheat engine to put them however you want to put them in here to go forward from there so that's been it for the video uh thank you guys for watching and if you could drop a like on the video and possibly subscribe and i will see you guys on the next one